I'm going to show you how to use the Let's Create Pottery app today to create a pretend pot on the a digital pot. So you're going to open up the pottery and then you're going to click create. And here we have a pottery wheel and you have your slab of clay. So you're going to be able to pull up on it to make it as bit tall as you'd like. You pull out to the sides with both fingers and that's going to widen your pot. And you're going to get to make any shape you'd like. You can make it as wide or as skinny as you'd want. Okay. You can make the lip come out. You decide how you want your pot to look. We're going to try to sculpt this now in 3D with real clay after we're done with our sketch. So you're going to keep pulling it out, moving it around how you'd like it. When you're happy with the shape of your vase, you're going to click fire, and it's going to fire it just like it would in a real kiln or an oven. It's going to heat it up. Okay. Now we're ready to paint it. We're going to be using the colors option here, and you can choose any color you'd like or two colors. I'm going to try purple. And as you go to spray it, it starts off really light. And if you want it darker, you can um, just go over it darker. You want to add more than one color. You can add more than one color. I'm going to start with purple, and then I'm going to add some blue to make a blue-violet. Okay, now click on the blue at the top and change colors. Okay, and you can blend another color. I'm going to blend purple back on top. Okay, when I'm happy with how it looks, okay, I'm going to click exit. I can then add the brushes. So I'll click on the brushes, and here's where I can add different designs, um, Greek patterns anything I'd like to decorate my vase. It's up to you what you decide to put. If you don't like it, choose the undo button. So I don't want that one. I kind of like these waves a little better. So I'll add those and some bigger stripes. When I'm happy with it, I'll click exit and I'll click ready and the check mark. From here, you have to take a screenshot. So to take a screenshot, you're going to click the home button and the power button at the same time and it's going to take a photo. Okay. You have to do that before you move on, otherwise I'm not going to count this and you'll have to redo it. So to double check that you took a screenshot, click the home button, go to the photos app, and then make sure your vase is at the bottom in the camera roll. So mine is there. I can double click the home button, go back into the app, and now I'm ready to sell it, which is the best part of the app. So I can click sell at the bottom and click the check mark. And now people will pretend people will bid on my vase. The more money I make with the vase means I can go back and buy more colors and brushes into the app for future faces. Okay, so great job. Now I'm ready to go back to my learning guide and move on to this actually sculpting the real base.